Welcome to Electro Online. So far, we've taken a close look at three special operations. We call them the gradient, the divergence, and the curl. And in a way, you can think of them as taking the first derivative. Now, notice that the gradient can only be done on a scalar quantity, and the divergence and the curl can only be done on a vector quantity. But the result of taking the, the, taking the gradient, you get a vector quantity, Taking the divergence, you get a scalar quantity, and taking the curl, you get a vector quantity. But what if you want to do a second operation, kind of like taking a second derivative? So we're not saying it is a second derivative, it's like taking the second derivative. But now we have to be careful, because we know that the gradient can only be done on a scalar quantity, and the divergence can only be done on a vector quantity. And the result of a gradient is a vector, the result of divergence is a scalar, and the result of a curl is a vector. So when you do the first operation, there's only a limited number of things you can do with the second operation. For example, when you do a gradient, you end up with a vector, which means you can only do these two operations as a second operation. But in other words, you can do the divergence of a gradient and the curl of a gradient, but you can't do the gradient of a gradient because the gradient gives you a vector and you can't take the gradient of a vector. Now, if you then do a divergence in the put a scalar, then there's only one secondary operation you can do because only gradients can be done on scalars. So if you've done a divergence, you can only take the gradient of a divergence as the second operation. And then when you end up with a curl, when you do a curl, you end up with a vector. And there's only two things you can do with a vector. You can take the divergence or you can take the curl of a vector, but you can't take the gradient of a vector. So if you did a curl, you can take the divergence of a curl or you can take the curl of a curl. Now, what does that look like mathematically? Here, we're taking the divergence of a gradient, the divergence of a gradient. The divergence, of course, looks like this with a del operator and a dot product and then this is on the gradient, you will end up with a scalar. Obviously, anytime you do a divergence, even as a second operation, you will end up with a scalar. You can also take the curl of a gradient because the gradient gives you a vector, and you can do the curl of a vector, and you write it like this, the del operator with the cross symbol on the gradient, and you end up with a vector. So if you did a divergence, you end up with a scalar, and so you can take the gradient of a diversion because only you can do a gradient with a, with a scalar, you can do a divergence or a curl with a scalar. So if you have a scalar from a divergence, you can then do the gradient of the divergence, and it looks like this, the gradient of the divergence, which gives you a vector. And finally, when you did the curl as the first operation, you can do the curl again a second time, or you can do the diversion because both of these operations can be done on vectors. So this is what the divergence of a curl looks like. This is a curl. We do the divergence of the curl like this. You end up with a scalar. Or you could do the curl of a curl. This is the curl, and here's the curl again. The curl of a curl gives you a vector again. So those are the secondary operations. There's only five of them, depending upon what your primary operation was. If you did a gradient for the first operation, you can then do the divergence of the curl. If you did the divergence of the first operation, then you can only do a gradient. If you did the curl as your first operation, you can do divergence or a secondary curl. And that is how it's done.